to look at how busy it is at Union Station. A little bit busier than normal, but usually pretty busy around this time. So, hello, bonjour, from Toronto. More specifically, Union Station. So it's Thursday, November 14th, 6.30 p.m. And I'm going to give a little bit of a tour here just for people who might be coming into town before the Taylor Swift concert or anything else in the area, like the aquarium or just an event at the Rogers Center slash Skydome. So if you're coming into Union via GO Bus, you'd be coming from this direction, the bus terminal, and you'd be coming here to this plaza. Or if you're coming from the subway, you'd be coming out of there. Though there are signs pointing people to the Taylor Swift concert venue, the Rogers Center from there, but we're gonna follow that same general direction just so I can let anyone know who's coming via GO train or via rail, which surprisingly, quite a few people are taking via rail for the first time into the city to come to this concert. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this could be used also for people who are just coming in for any other sort of event. Or if they're going to the CN Tower, the Ripley's Aquarium, um, anything, any event, Blue Jays at the Rogers Center, anything like that. Kind of similar if you were coming to the Scotiabank Arena, but that's just back down the other way, so I'll have to do another video for that another time. So right now we're just under the main hall in the concourse area. So if you were coming by Via Rail, I'm going to show you where you would be coming from. If I can get there. It is quite busy. So straight ahead and down there is Union Market, as the sign says. There's food courts, and that's where some of the GO trains deboard. But right now I'm going to show you where the Via Rail trains come in. So this is the hall where a lot of the Via Rail trains will come in. I wonder if I can get into the main area or not. I believe I can. Although perhaps not. Oh, I can. So depending where your train comes from, it'll probably empty out into this area here. And then you're gonna wanna find the ramps up to the Grand Hall. And if you were coming from the subway, earlier in the video there were stairs you could take to come up to the Grand Hall when I said we're underneath it. This would be the long way to take, so don't follow this. I'm just doing this for the sake of people who are taking via rail. So this is the Grand Hall. So these are the stairs there, and another set of stairs right over behind there, where you would come up from when you were down in the concourse area. So we can see this crowd of people heading this way, and we're gonna follow them. We're gonna follow them to the Skywalk, I believe it's called.
keep in mind it's usually not as busy. So if there's anyone that may be coming in using the Up Express, I'm going to point out where you come in from there, as it is along the way to where we want to go. I guess an Up Express train just arrived, hence why there's so many people with suitcases. <laughs> so we're coming up to the Skywalk now. So as you can see here, the sign says that it goes to the Rogers Center, CN Tower Aquarium, and the Convention Center. So overhead on the left, where the wall starts to turn gray, is where the Up Express comes in. And that's a train that goes and connects Union, P Union, yeah, Union to Pearson Airport. At the time of filming this, this is the first night of Taylor Swift's six concerts here. There's the Skywalk from the back. And the Skywalk continues up ahead to the left with a series of indoor bridges that go across the train tracks. that one woman couldn't figure out how to open the door. Okay, so don't do that. Don't, don't ride your skateboard, scooter, or whatnot in here when there's this many people in it. Not cool. 
Especially considering they're going head-on against the side that might have pedestrians just randomly walking. Normally it's stopped and show the view outside the windows, but there's not really much of one in the dark. But during the day you'd be able to see the train tracks. And I'm not sure the name of the street going south. I don't think it's Simcoe Street, I could be wrong. I mean, generally, if you're coming here during a concert or a big event, like a Blue Jays game or whatnot, it's usually easy to find your way to just follow the crowd. going to see how close we can get to the Rogers Center. But the crowds are probably still a bit insane because the first act, the opening act just started, but people are still going in. So yeah, outside, the CN Tower, it's a bit misty and rainy this evening. But you can just follow this path. And it'll lead you down to the aquarium, the Rogers Center, and the CN Tower. So I'll use this moment to say that if you're new here and you like this video, throw it a like. Better yet, toss me a subscribe or do both. So hopefully I help you out if you're new to Toronto. But yeah, this is sort of the main area. And when we get down a bit closer, I'll let you know what direction to go depending on what you're doing here. So yeah, if you're down in the area, you're gonna want to head up down that way to get to the CN Tower. You can see that sort of boxy building there. That's where you can enter just down on the end. If you're here for the aquarium, it's right here, right directly in front. And if you're here for a concert, it's gonna depend which gate you're told to enter. So. I believe six and lower go that way, or six and higher go that way, something like that. And then you're gonna go that way, depending on your gate number. You're either gonna go to the left or the right. But yeah. So, thank you for joining me on this walk. 
It's been a while since I've done pre-record, so I hope that this was helpful. And until next time, take care. Bye.